Over the past 20 years, telemedicine has changed care delivery in the ICU. Intensivists and nurses stationed in a telemedicine bunker can monitor dozens of patients remotely using sophisticated cameras, connected diagnostic tools, and computer algorithms. Tele-ICU technology can provide access to expertise in remote areas and oversight during evening shifts when in-house staffing might not include an intensivist. Fuzaro and colleagues performed a retrospective analysis comparing before versus after tele-ICU implementation on the outcome of risk-adjusted ICU mortality in daytime versus nighttime admissions. The researchers also examined whether the standardized mortality ratio, a measure of relative ICU performance, might be associated with differences in risk-adjusted mortality. 1,581 patient stays pre-tele-ICU were compared to 14,584 patient stays post-tele-ICU. Patients in the post-tele-ICU cohort were sicker in both daytime and nighttime cohorts. Overall, the risk-adjusted ICU mortality was 8.7% pre-tele-ICU implementation and 6.5% after implementation. No significant difference in risk-adjusted mortality was seen in the daytime cohort. In the nighttime cohort, risk-adjusted mortality was 10.8% before tele-ICU and 7.0% after tele-ICU implementation. The standardized mortality ratio was less than 1 in the daytime cohort and was 1.30 in the nighttime cohort. The rate of major interventions was higher in the nighttime cohort. The authors found a reduction in risk-adjusted ICU mortality with implementation of tele-ICU. This reduction was driven predominantly within the nighttime admission group. These findings suggest an association with a pre-tele-ICU implementation standardized mortality ratio of more than one and mortality reduction. Nighttime tele-ICU may be warranted, especially in centers with an SMR of more than one. However, further research is needed to evaluate this.